Hello everyone and welcome back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. So, we're we made it to the halfway point. We're uh we're at room 500 and we got to get to room 600 now. Oh, we still freaking got to go through this. All right. Well, that's a good time to say um if you enjoy this video, if you end up enjoying this video, uh, please subscribe. And also, I do have a Discord server. It's in my description. I, I have to mention that every now and then. Alright. You know what? This... I did not click E, but alright. This place looks exactly like it did on the outside. Like, look at that. Just mud. Oh, these rooms seem different. That's alright. Excuse me. Is that a false door? It's a false door. It did. It doesn't open. That's a weird sound. Never mind. That's just music. I'm getting paranoid. It's already the second. Hold up. I was about to look at what room number we're on, and it says we're on room 51. Excuse me. I must... Wait. In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instruction somehow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's not new. Or, sorry, it, it is new. I don't recognize those notes. I don't think that's the Mr. Romantic guy that freaking drinks ink and blood. <laughs> oh, that guy was a weirdo. Yeah, that guy seems new. Interesting. I don't like that it went back to, uh, say, room 54, because that kind of concerned me for a second. I'm like, oh no. Did I enter a glitch? But no, I don't think so. Unless it is. And I'd be highly disappointed. It better not be a glitch, guys. I'm crossing my fingers. There's spider webs everywhere. We haven't come across a spider ent entity yet, and that's... That's kind of weird to me. I feel like in one of these kinds of games, a big old spider would be... Perfect. The lighting changed. Oh... Cannot release twice, exit through express. Oh. That looks different. Express tunnel. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. I'd rather not go through that all the way to 500 again. Hey, okay, we got out. We got out. Good, good, good. That was really odd. Uh, I don't know what that was about. But I'm glad we're through it. I had to itch my arm there. And I was, oh, the room's purple. Why is the room purple? That's like the lighting that I have on my face. Is this new? Well, I still haven't died yet, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Also, I found a strange computer that gives descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like they are called effective. They are called effective based on how many people they kill. Yeah. Fair. Ah, this is freaking the endless hallway. Oh. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is also how someone is somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonist will look like. Oh, <laughs> they're cute. Ah, you want the, uh haters to for, or not haters uh, antagonist to lover kind of story huh sadly that is not actually that common is it common maybe I don't read enough I just realized that I had never had 
a mentor figure, trial or leaving home scene. That means the story isn't following the archetypes to make me a traditional hero, which means I can't be killed off. Well, it's nice at least for a little while. Yeah, rip. Actually, uh, I wasn't ready for the jump scare. Day two, food supply depleted, water supply at 30%, mental health deteriorating, leaving notes behind to help others and mark where I've been. Thanks, Skelly. Thank you for that information. Get a lot of notes recently. And that's cool and all, but I'm still waiting for the entity to show up. First up is Edgar. He's kind of. I don't care enough. I've already been through this place. I got the gaming achievement, all right. I don't need to play any of those again. More notes. Day three, hallucinations are manifesting at increasing intervals. The cause is probably sleep deprivation or gas that is being pumped into the rooms. I have not yet been injured, so I don't think the cause is a brain injury or blood clot. I don't know, man. What if your brain's just not doing a function right? Could be possible. Ah, frickin' frack. My least favorite entity. Okay, I am going to back up for a bit. Because I'm terrified of my life. I almost died there. And <laughs> that would have been really sad for me. Yeah, screw off, buddy. Why is it... Well, I feel like I get this entity a lot. And it's my least favorite one. Like, I'd much prefer someone else. By far. Excuse me. Uh-uh, you ain't stabbing me. You idiot. I'm just sprinting through as fast as I can. There's not a note in here, right? No. Ah, this is a simple room. I hope there's not a note where an entity is, because I would never find it. Yeah. Screw you, you dumb dummy. Ah, this one's a really simple room. Alright, we got through it! Dude, dumb idiot specimen whatever. Kind of forgot what he was. Six? Was he six? I think he's specimen six. I don't like the random breathing. You guys probably can't hear it, but I can. Maybe if you wear headphones. Whoa! This is different. Yeah, no, this is quite different. For a while, I thought I had really escaped this place, but despite the trees and floor, I think this is actually just another room. I did, however, find deer, so I might at least get to eat. They make some strange sounds, though. Why are the deer making strange sounds? What? Why are, why are the deer making strange sounds? Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, they try to eat you! The, the, the <laughs> Yeah, that is, that is strange. Okay. I don't know what they are, but those are definitely not deer. I tried sneaking up on one the other day to kill food for food, but it saw me as soon as I got close. I was barely able to get away from the thing. I managed to board up most of them. Or Yeah, hopefully I can find another way out of here. Probably the other direction, then. Is that an axe? Oh. <laughs> Wow, that is an interesting way to open a door. Oh dear! Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Let me out of here. Ow! Where's the exit? Get out of my way! Hold up. I'm actually dying. Can I kill the deer? I want to see if I can kill the deer. Well, I'm going to let my health regen in case I, everything starts killing me. Uh, okay, odd room. Mmm. Music. This can't be haunting. I mean, I really don't know what to think about it. It wasn't as haunting as I thought it would be. 
Well, that was one. Ah! A key. Why? Was the front locked? I don't even know. Maybe it was. <laughs> Choppy the board. Oh, what is that? Oh! That's terrible. I hate that. Can we not have a... <laughs> what is that, actually? Hold up. I don't know. It looks spooky, though. Yeah, I know. Hate that. It even chants at me. I do like the music, though. Maybe I shouldn't have played that music. Maybe I just attracted it. Scare him away, Mr. Grape. Keep him away. Frick, the grape failed me. I'm out! Yeah, stop it in your freaking chanting. I hope these doesn't have some sort of effect where I... I'm scared that someone's going to have some effect where I need to look at them. He gone? He gone. He got spooked off by my courageous axing skills. I wasn't swinging my axe even the slightest bit, but... He got scared off by my courageous axing skills. Hello, hello. I don't care. Ooh, more notes. Day four. I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low. So I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. You're not. You're room 570-something. <laughs> You're a little too far gone for an exit. Just one. Ooh. I hear very deep, guttural growls coming from the walls. I know it's just ambiance, but I hate it. Man, I really do. Yeah? We're almost there. There's no way. There, no, there's no way that they're just going to make these next uh, 20 rooms be simple walking on through, right? They wouldn't do that to me. They wouldn't be that nice. Well, it's a freaking pumpkin. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh! I killed the pumpkin! Oh, I kind of feel bad now. I'm sorry, little guy. It's kind of funny, though. You kind of... <laughs> kind of tore down. Alright, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Sorry. Alright. Well. I, I, um, yes, I was just... <sighs> I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. That, that, that other guy was just a fluke. <laughs> I feel bad for harming a piece of paper. Or is it cardboard? It, it sounded like paper whenever it ripped. But, like, it looks like cardboard. I don't know. Oh! Oh, it's the... Eldritch... God, demon, whatever. Go away. No one likes you. You're ugly. You know that? Highly, highly ugly. Act well, okay. I'm calling him ugly, but he does look really cool. Like, he's got some interesting looking ruins glowing at his feet. Oh, this is a new room. I'm just going to sprint through because I have no idea where the X is. I hope he doesn't speed up. You're not speeding up right now. There's probably going to be a monster like that. Are we done? We're almost done. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Why did you do that? I was not expecting that. Uh, I thought I got caught for a second. I thought, oh, frick, maybe I was supposed to look at him at intermediate amounts of time. Oh, you're such an adorable cat. You're less adorable. Yeah, alright. Well, anyways, I know this was a bit of a short episode, but, you know, I'm only doing 100 episodes. Or, I'm doing only 100 floors per episode. So, thank y'all so much for watching. If you uh, enjoyed, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, well, I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye!